show you all how I recreated this set that I found on Instagram. Um, I'll put a picture up of the original set for reference, and the original creator is at the Nail Sensei, so be sure to go look at her post. I'll link her pages down below in the description. So originally, my cousin is the one who sent it to me and asked me to do it, so here it is. So since this video also counts as an update, I feel like this is a good time to get into where I've been for the past six months. Um, so in all honesty, I haven't really been gone at all um, because I've still been active in terms of replying to comments or doing nails and posting nails. It's just not on here because I haven't had time to upload new videos with school and all of my other activities. So if you follow me on my Instagram, which is at be nailed it, I'll leave the link in the description. You can see some of the nail pictures that I haven't featured on here. Um, I have some pictures up there. Um, so yeah, that's really where I've been. So uh, a lot has happened since my last upload in June. Um, I have an entirely new nail area that I'll be doing a tour soon on, but I do have a preview of it on my Instagram. Um, I've also gotten a bunch of new supplies, which I can't wait to show all of you, and I'll be doing videos on them eventually. I don't know when, but eventually. Um, so, I'm also going to try and get back on a more consistent uploading schedule, but I'm not going to make any promises. So, let's get back to the nails. because it's cow print so I just needed a base so I could draw on top of it later. After I finished laying the white acrylic, I moved into the pink. Um, the pink that I originally used was too pink, it was like this baby pink and that's not what I was going for. So after I lay this first layer, you'll see me move into a darker pink and that's what I'll use for the other finger too.
After I lay the color acrylic, I go in with some clear acrylic to encapsulate so that I don't file off any of the color when it's time for shaping. Um, to be honest, I'm not that great in, at encapsulating yet just because I can never get the full coverage that I want, but I'm working on it, so... So after I finished laying the acrylic, I just brought out my nail vacuum and my e-file so I could start shaping. Uh, but before I used my e-file, I used my hand file just to make the edges a little more crisp so I didn't have to do it with my e-file and risk over-filing. After I finished shaping, I just went in with my lavender violet base coat so that I could have a smooth surface to draw over. After I finished carrying the base coat, I just went in with a black nail polish. Um, I don't have a black nail polish in gel, which is weird, I know. Um, but anyway, um, I just start drawing the cow print shapes. I don't really have a specific method for this either. I just start like drawing little blobs and start branching off of them. And I try not to make them look too uniform or anything.
was drawing the cow print, I had to let the polish dry, so I decided to move on to the rhinestones. So I just used my lavender violet's top coat as the glue, and I used those AB crystals that I got from Amazon. Um, I'll leave a link to everything below in the description. But yeah, I used the second biggest size I have. I don't know the exact measurement, but I just put some of them on the cuticle area for one nail and then some on the tip of the finger for the other. So after I put on the rhinestones, that was essentially it. So I just put on the final layer of top coat for the cow print nails since I hadn't before. Um, so yeah, that's basically all I did. Uh, let me know how you guys think it turned out. I'll put some clearer pictures at the end so you guys can see it better. Um, so yeah, be sure to check out the Nail Sensei's original post. And check out my Instagram if you're interested in seeing any of the pictures that I posted while I was gone. Thank you for watching. Bye.